Well, good morning, Glue Troopers, Max and Max's Models, and yes, I'm up this early and drinking coffee. I wasn't even going to do a video this morning until I checked my email, and boy, that changed that. Okay, you guys remember me asking you about this gizmo on top of the intake, which we determined was some kind of electronic CCM equipment, and it is. And then the big question was, was it on the Colonel's plane? Well, I had contacted Mark Styling. I, he shot me back an email this morning with a lot of pictures from the 1972 to 73 cruise book. And none of the airplanes in the cruise book have this particular piece of equipment on board. Also, a couple of people, both my brother and Mr. Markle and some others, sent me a phantom fax sheet about this particular piece of equipment. And we'll probably go into it in annoying detail during the live stream. But there's pretty solid evidence that the Colonel did not have this equipment on his airplane in 72 because none of the aircraft in the 72 to 73 cruise book have it. All the photos I see of it being mounted on airplanes are 75 or later. So somewhere between probably 73 and 75, they started putting them on the aircraft as they became available. This thing is what they call a noise deception jammer, and I could go into detail, but like I say, I won't. We'll probably just save that for the live stream for those who want to get into it. But it does turn out that it was actually developed right here in Jacksonville uh, at NavAir. So that's kind of cool. This, of course, means that it's distinctly possible that the Tamiya model makers put it on the airplane because it was part of the kit, and they're, of course, trying to sell the model and, and show you what comes with the kit. But it would not have been accurate to Bureau number 5526. But if that's their greatest sin, all is forgiven. One other thing that popped up was this one decent photograph, a close-up of one of the helmets of one of the Shamrocks, one of the pilots or Rios, and finally get a close look at the Shamrock design they put on the helmet. I asked the colonel if he had uh, marked up his helmet like that, and he wasn't really sure, but he said he still had it, but unfortunately it's been repainted because he went on to other squadrons. But most of the photographs I've seen, the pilots just seem to be wearing white helmets. So everyone I know who was in the Navy said, you know, the guys kind of did their own thing, so it's distinctly possible the colonel's helmet was just white. Very minor detail, but, you know, we're model builders. We want those details right. But I want to thank everyone, uh, my brother, Mr. Markle, and especially Mr. Styling, for all the contributions. I might try to bring this up with the Colonel in casual conversation, but like I say, I'm not really sure if he would remember that or not. It's such a minor technical detail, and it was over 50 years ago. Meanwhile, I'm trying to remember what I had for dinner. Did I have dinner? Well, anyway, guys, uh, you take care of yourselves. We'll talk at you later, and as always, model on. Mm. I wasn't even going to make a video this morning because I was up late last night making, or till late evening making. Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually going to uh, 